everybody. Welcome back to the range. Tom here, and today we're doing a secret Santa build. It's a 1936 Ford Coupe. I am doing two secret Santa builds. This is number one. My next video is going to be number two. Oh, I really like this casting. I hope you guys really like what I do. So why don't we head on down to the range and let's get started. You know, I seen this casting just sitting there and I was like, you know what? I want to do something with it. And being a matchbox and everything, I don't work with a lot of matchboxes. Uh, at first, I was going to try to attempt to make it into a pickup truck. But that didn't work out all that well. And to be honest, I was back and forth with the with this custom. Whether I was going to make it a Secret Santa build or just keep it. So, that says a lot. I was very happy with the turnout of this build. I was very happy with everything that went on. Not only the, that whoever is the recipient... Of this car is going to be getting one heck of a cool custom. I'll tell you that right now. And a little bit later on in the video. I'm actually going to be making custom exhaust. So you'll get to see how I do my custom exhaust. You know, this is a new way I wanted to try it out. Just to see how it works. And I love how it works. And I'm going to use it again another time with the Secret Santa number 2 build. You know, I have an engine from this uh, teed off to you know, a little golf cart had a cool engine in it I wanted to use it so if I find another one of these cars you dang straight I'm going to grab it for the engine because I love this engine it looks neat and what I end up doing to it makes it look ten times better you know like I said I wanted to get it use it and it, it was just kind of just popped into my head as I was building this custom what I wanted to do with it. The tires I had just looked too small for what I was wanting to do. They, you know, I wanted it to be beefy. I wanted it to be mean looking. I wanted it to be a showstopper masterpiece. And trust me, you're going to like this build. You know, this 36 Ford Coupe, I really liked it. You know, I really did. There was a lot of stuff I, could, I thought about doing to it. But the first things first is I wanted to cut off the front end. Oh, yeah. I wanted to get that rid of this front end. And it took me forever. And I mean forever to get this off. Because I was going to have to cut it in sections. You know, take the fenders off and then take the front off. You know, I went through my Dremel tool. I went through my jeweler saw. I, it was like nonstop, like just trying to get it done. And like I said, I, I, I wanted the whole front end off, but I wasn't going to try to cut the entire thing off in one shot. I, I decided, you know, I could use these fenders later on. So that's why I went ahead and just decided to take them off piece by piece. And honestly, that worked out for the end. And, you know, I, I got some clean cuts, clean looks. It looks magnificent. I love how it looks. Um, I was originally going to do a different style base, but I changed my mind on it about halfway through the building the base because I was going to try a little bit of soldering, but it wasn't working out. So, you know... Instead, I'm using the, the, the stock base. I'm cutting off the rear fenders because, trust me, they are not needed whatsoever for the size tires I have for the back end. And I'm kind of spoiling it a little bit, but I'm kind of not. But with the Christmas season coming around, this is one of two videos you will actually hear Christmas music like you are now. I'm not a big Christmas fan. Um, not a really big fan of the holidays in general. But I, I was in the I was in the Christmas spirit when I was building this. I'm talking about with the color, with the look, wanted to be perfect. So whoever the recipient of this custom, 
Because since I'm doing two, I'm still waiting on the second name and an address. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be flipping a coin to see which one gets this car. And, you know, since it was my first build for the Secret Santa, that's how I'm going to determine it. And then the other one will go to the other person. You know, I cut off the front end because I thought I was going to use a front bumper. I wanted to extend out the front end a little bit because this was a big engine. Um, it, it wouldn't have looked good with the stock front end because it just wasn't long enough. And plus, you know, the tires would have just been in the way of the engine. And I wanted it to be able to roll. And I really hope no way ends up playing with this thing because this thing is just too beautiful to do anything with. Um... I did some Christmas theme colors on it. I didn't have no Christmas decals, so I didn't worry about it. And yes, this is one of the sets of tires that I'm going to be using for the front, but the back is so much bigger. And you guys have probably recognized them because they come off of those Majesto um, combo cars that's got the big tires or the big time muscles. I can't remember where these came from, but this was the perfect casting to use them for and my second casting I'm still determining what all I'm going to do to it and I got the Jay's uh, Diecast Creations Pink Slips Invitational coming up as well that I'm volunteering as another sponsor for this one just like I did for last year's um, I'm going to be making a short announcement and probably my next video or I, I don't know it'll probably be the first of the year I'm going to be making another announcement uh, about my Monster Jam challenge and I'll further details on that later but we're going to get back it's strictly into this build so you know I'm trying to figure out a way to mount the you know the engine the front grill you know the grill that I had for this originally was just way too small it just didn't fit right. It didn't look right with the casting. It didn't fit the theme I was going with. And so I changed it. I ended up taking a 3D printed uh, rat rod style gasser with the uh, grill with the, you know, the little gas tank on the front of the grill. Well, I got that from Benchworks Toys. And you don't see me doing it in the video. That's why I'm explaining it now. Um, I ended up taking some square styrene and just kind of going around the outside of that grill gas tank grill whatever and just kind of molded it to where it uh you know kind of looked like a grill i painted it the whole nine yards and i was so happy with the way that turned out and i'm trying to get these four or these uh Secret Santa builds out before the beginning of December or have them done so I can ship them out like December, like almost immediately or probably sometime mid-December. But probably I'm going to send them up at the beginning of the month. But my strict orders are going to be, you cannot open till Christmas, but trust me, if I was getting a custom from somebody, I would want to open immediately so I can display it that be me but whoever's getting this is really lucky because like I said I was back and forth whether I wanted to even give this sucker away I was so impressed with this I was really happy with everything on this you know after I took the fenders off the back I filed them down you know just kind of get them smoothed out and you know putting these big tires in I didn't have no tube styrene so I used some square styrene uh for the axles and honestly it worked out and it helped out because it, it, it was able to mount a little bit better um i think it rolled over and you know you know it, it rolled with it i should say and you know it, it was just kind of one of those things where i i wanted it to look good you know i wanted everything to go well on it i wanted it to be perfect from front to back 
And here's the engine, a little bit, you know, I tried to do some cleaning the chrome off of, but I just kind of scratched it out, put it in there. This is the custom exhaust that I'm, I'm using. I took some aluminum uh, tubing, cut it down to a size. I stuck it in my drill. I mean, you're probably wondering how I got the little gro uh, grooves in there. Well, I stuck it in my drill and just slowly just tightened it up and tightened it up. And then when I pulled it out, it came with those little grooves, you know, on, on the exhaust. They're not perfectly round. I got these uh, styrene stocks and, and this piece of styrene that I'm going to be making the exhaust and the manifold out of. Well, I can't remember the sizes of any of the, the tubing or the styrene. So I took four little pieces of styrene, kind of bunched them up together, like two on two or whatever, you know, just kind of put them together, glued them, dried them, sand them down. And this was a lot of sanding and fitting, sanding and mocking up, sanding and mocking up. A lot of it was going on because I wanted everything to fit the same way as it did on the first side that I did. And I keep looking back and forth towards the engine, you know, just trying to get an idea of how everything's going to be, you know, looking. And it, it was it was a lot of, you know, like I said, sanding and stuff, you know, to get it just right to where it'll fit in. I had to trim the, exo uh, the, the styrene a couple of times, you know, just to shorten it up a little bit, you see here. But the hardest part was the sanding. It, it was not the hardest, but it, the longest. Because, uh, you know, I wanted it to fit in there. I wanted it to look like it belonged together. And once I got done with it and chromed it all, it looked amazing. I was really happy with it. So, you know, I was really happy with this whole idea that I did here on how to do it. By gluing the styrene uh, stocks together, gluing it into the aluminum tubing. And then once um, it dried a little bit, what I did was I started bending the the tube or the, the styrene, you know, pieces. I started bending them up into like a uh, almost a 90 degree angle, you know, a little bit at a time, you know, just kind of got it up there and then, you know, just getting the idea of turning it over and stuff like that. Well, once I got that done, I took this piece of styrene. I found a very small drill bit. I can't remember the size. But I drilled the holes, four holes, for the styrene. And once I got done drilling, I'm making sure uh, there's nothing in the way of the holes. So when I stick the styrene tubes through these holes, it has a snug fit. I mean, a really good snug fit. And, you know, I'm testing it out with this uh, scrap piece I had just sitting around. Um, cutting it up, trimming it up to size, you know, I ended up trimming up a little more after, you know, I got everything kind of put in it, <clears throat> excuse me, and, you know, I'm just kind of trying to give it a little more detail, you know, and like I said, this was probably one of my favorite set of exhausts to make because I was really happy with how it all turned out all together with the engine and everything, and he's, you see here, I'm pushing, as I'm doing this, I'm pushing the, the, the piece of styrene with the four holes. Well, not right now. But, you know, I'm, I'm literally just pushing them through little by little, trying to get them all in there and lined up. And then, you know, just to get the length that I was looking for, I would just push it down as far as I could go. You know, I got it bent to where it's going to stop and go downward and the whole nine yards. But I wanted to get an actual size comparison, width comparison. And that's what I was using the other set of the exhaust for. Because once I had everything done, I cut off the ends of the styrene. And yeah, I used scissors. I normally don't use scissors, but I ended up using my uh, hobby knife later on to trim it up a little more. Off camera, I think I don't really show it. I can't remember. But, you know, I'm kind of trying to make sure everything's bent the same angle. So when I put it on the car, it's going to look phenomenal on it. And, yeah, here I am with the, the razor knife cutting it and trimming it. And, you know, I ended up taking it to some sandpaper, sanding it down smooth, just to get it to where it would fit up against the engine. And, you know, I'm just happy it was sitting 
the way it sat would just block off the back of the engine so nobody would see the little gap. And what I ended up doing, um, after I chromed it and it dried, I ended up making a spark plug wire and a distributor cap to place on it. After I got done chroming, of course, because if I, I didn't want the whole thing chromed. And I ended up hand painting um, the valve cover, the valve covers. I ended up painting the, the blower and the, the serpentine belt to give it that, to give it a little more detail, to make it look more like an engine. You know, I sanded around just kind of trying to level everything off. And at, at this point, I'm really happy. So why don't we go ahead and check out what we started off with? A 1936 Ford Coupe Matchbox. You know, I knew this thing had potential. I was really, really looking forward to doing this build. And I would like to congratulate whoever gets this custom from the Secret Santa. Like I said, there's going to be another video. So, without further ado, let's check out the final results.